nice CC welcome to our peace loving preacher from Alabang Feast, Brother Arun Gogna. Good morning. morning. This is my second time to give a talk here at PICC. The first one was just a few hours ago. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. I'm also excited. Can you look at someone next to you? Tell your friend you will be super blessed today. Super blessed today. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe in that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When I'm invited to give a talk in corporations, schools, at the end of my talk, I promote our feast. I promote Feast Alabang. Sinasabi ko sa kanila, alam nyo, you have to attend the feast nearest you. Why? Because miracles happen there. So sila naman nakatingin, parang, ha, ano ba yun? Ha, ano ba yung feast? So wala sila masyadong idea. And then I tell them about Feast Alabang. I tell them that Feast Alabang has grown for two years. Now we have 1,700 feast attendees at Feast Alabang. <laughs> Tapos sinasabi ko sa kanila, alam nyo, sa Feast Alabang, grabe miracles ang nangyayari dyan. May mga dumarating dyan, naka-wheelchair. Paglabas ng mga naka-wheelchair, marunong na silang kumanta. So, tawa yung mga tao, di ba? Tapos, I have been saying that joke for many, many months, but my dear friends, last June, it was not a joke anymore. Merong feast attendee sa Alabang na nine-year-old, si Nina. Si Nina, uma-attend sa Alabang with the family, naka-wheelchair, makikinig ng talk. After my talk, I go down and pray for her and the whole family every Sunday, every Sunday, for many months. Bakit? Si Nina kasi nagda-dialysis three times a week. So just imagine, nine-year-old, nagda-dialysis, talagang very weak. And then June, birthday week ko, I was talking to the technical people before the feast starts. May lumapit sa akin, kinalabit ako sa likod. Pag harap kong ganyan, si Nina may daladalang regalo, nakatayo. At sabi sa akin, Happy birthday, brother. Inabot yung regalo, tapos mamaya, takbo, ang bilis, naglalakad. Hinabol ko. Umupo doon, hindi sa wheelchair niya. Doon sa isang upuan, nakatabi ng wheelchair. Sabi ko, nakakalakad ka na. Sabi niya, eh, eh, eh. Tapos alam niyo kung sinong nakaupo sa wheelchair niya? Yung kuya niya na nagtutulak ng wheelchair. Ang saya! Ginaganong-ganon yung wheelchair. Hindi na ako magtutulak nito kailanman. That was June. Two weeks ago, Nina came to me. Yung, yung prayer namin ulit. Paglapit namin sa isa't isa, alam mo, binulong niya sa akin. Brother, mahina lang boses, bata. Ten years old na siya. Brother, sasali po ako ng dance ministry. Yung talaga... Sabi ko sa kanya, naalala mo, di ba? Pumunta ka rito, naka-wheelchair ka. Ngayon, sasali ka sa dance ministry. Brothers and sisters, that is true. Miracles happen at the feast. And miracles are happening right now. Miracles are happening right now. We just experienced a miracle a while ago. The Holy Eucharist. And then the worship. And let, let God touch you through His Word today. Can you touch as many people as you can? Sabihin nyo nga sa mga katabi nyo, today is your day! Let's come before our God and pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray this with faith together. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded. 
limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let us read from Matthew chapter 5, verse 9 together. Happy are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Can you say peace? peace. Can you say shalom? shalom? You know what shalom means? More than peace, shalom means bayad na utang mo. That's the truth. Bayad na utang mo. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng shalom. Mas malalim pa sa peace, bayad na utang mo. Tingnan nyo nga mga katabi nyo. Sabihin nyo nga sa kanila, shalom. Hanapin nyo nga yung may utang sa inyo at sabihin yung shalom. Kung kaya nyo lang. Ano? For those who know me, you know I'm half Indian. My dad is Indian. My mom is Filipina. Yung half Indian, hindi yung, oh, 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 ibang Indian yon. <laughs> yung isang Indian, yung nakamotor. <laughs> so ang tatay ko po yung Bumbay. Pero ang nanay ko, Filipina. Kaya taming mga Bumbay, ayaw namin ang salitang shalom. Lugi negosyo. But my dear friends, when Mother Mary visited Elizabeth, she greeted her with the word Shalom. And John the Baptist leapt for joy. Tumalon, bakit? Ano ibig sabihin ng Shalom? Mary was saying, I will be serving you. Habang buntis ka, pagliling kurang kita. Kaya lang wag mo ko babayaran. Bakit? Shalom. When Jesus was on the cross, lahat ng servants niya, disciples, left Him to die. May mga utang lahat yan. But when Jesus rose from the dead, He showed Himself to them. First word from Jesus' mouth, Shalom. Ano ibig sabihin? Bayad na utang niyo. Mga kapatid, tingnan niyo ako mabuti. If you can look at me on screen right now, look at my face and let God's word tell you, Bayad na utang mo. Bayad na ang utang mo. I would like you to allow your words to be God's word to people around you. Hindi ko alam kung anong dating yan, pero sabi mo sa pinakamaraming pwedeng sabihin, bayad na utang mo. My prayer for you, my dear friends, is that you live a peaceable life. Peaceable, peaceable. Dapat peace or your peace should is, is able to rule your life. The problem with that is this, yung iba, style pa lang and structure of their lives. Alam mo kagad, imposibleng magkaroon ng kapayapaan. Style and struct, itsura pa lang. Mukhang suso. Alam niyo yung mukhang suso? Sa lubong muso, kilay at ilong. Baka ganun. Pag binati, uh, kumusta ka na? Ano yan? Ang, ang, ang sarap gulpihin yung gano'n. No? Structure pa lang ng buhay mo, ginugulo mo na. Alam mo na napakahirap pagsamahin ang misis mo at ang nanay mo sa isang bahay. Ipinilit mo. Structure pa lang. Gulo na. So my prayer is this, that you live a peaceable life. 
you do something about it. My talk will be about how you can have more peace in life. Sino rito ang gusto magkaroon ng kapayapaan sa kanyang buhay? Can you put your hands upon your heart? Let us pray. Close your eyes, bow down your head. Pray this prayer after me. Father in heaven, I want peace in my life today. I know you are the source of true peace. And so I ask you, Lord, give me inner peace. I believe that I will receive today your miracles. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. We worship you. You are our Prince of Peace. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. As you sit down, please tell someone next to you, God is blessing you right now. This is talk four of Happy Chudes, Be Peaceful. This is part one of talk number four. Part two will be given by your feast builder, Brother Bo Sanchez, next Sunday. Where? Aliu Theater. You have two sessions there, okay? He will give you two talks there. Bakit wala si Bo? Alam niyo ba kung bakit wala? Hindi niyo alam. Nasa province namin si Bo sa New York City. Alam niyo na, province ko lang yan. Ano? And he will be back here in a few days. So, be excited to hear him give the second part of this talk. Be Peaceful. Sinong may problema sa inyo rito? Taas po ang kamay. Okay, mahiya. May problema. Sino rito katabi niya ang problema niya? <laughs> Yung iba binatuan. Hindi, ako ah! <laughs> Gusto niyo bang mabawasan ang problema niyo? Yeah. Most of our problems, they come from conflicts. And there are, there are, there is no one kind of conflict. There are three kinds of conflict. To save yourself from many problems, know the difference between them. Three kinds of conflicts. Conflicts you shouldn't avoid, conflicts you cannot avoid, and conflicts you should avoid. Let's talk about conflict one. Conflicts you shouldn't avoid. I had a co-teacher. Dati po akong professor. Nagtuturo ako sa isang university. Graduate po ako ng engineering. Pagka-graduate ko ng engineering, naging teacher po ako ng religion. <laughs> Lapit, ano? Ito. Hindi po ako ex-seminarian. I never entered the seminary. My co-teachers were, they were, they were ex-seminarians. Ang tawag namin sa kanila, ex-men. Ang tawag nilang lahat sa akin, why, man? Why are you here, man? So, Co-teacher po ako dati. Tapos, I have a co-teacher. Nagkaroon siya problema. Ang problema niya ganito. Na in love siya sa isa naming mga estudyante. Nako, bawal yon. Tanggal nga sa trabaho. Guguluhin mo ang buhay mo. You know what I did? Yung sinabi niya sa akin yon. I, I confronted him. Lovingly, as much as I can. Pero sinabi ko sa kanya, pare, mali yan. Magugulo buhay mo dyan. Nagalit sa akin. Pero ito yung alam ko na, I, I cannot, I, I should not avoid this. I, I should do this head on. I have to correct. Why? Because if you do not fight, if you do not correct, you are tolerating the sin. Kaya pag mahal ninyo ang katabi nyo, tingnan nyo nga ang katabi nyo, mahal nyo ba yan? You have to correct them. Mahal nyo ba kami mga preachers ninyo? Correct us also. Hindi kasi pwedeng nagtotok kami dito, bukas ang siper namin. Tapos wala man lamang nagsabi, bukas ang siper. Lahat kayo, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Di ba? 
You have to correct us. You have to do that. Lapit kayo sa amin and correct us. Amen? Mahal nyo ba yung katabi nyo? Mahal nyo? Tingnan nyo nga. Tingnan nyo nga kung mahal ninyo, kung mahal nyo. Can you correct that person? Kaya nyo ba? Very good. Then you can do that. Okay? With love in your heart, you can correct that person. Ako po, pag tinignan nyo akong mabuti, just to be honest with you, lumaki po akong senyorito. Alam mo ibig sabihin ng senyorito? Yung, yung, tubig na lang, hihingiin ko pa sa aming yaya. Yaya, water. <laughs> Nanunod ako ng TV, gusto kong ilipat ang channel. Yaya, can you change the channel? <laughs> Bakit? Kasi noon, walang remote. <laughs> ang TV noon, yung di cabinet. <laughs> Tapos pag binuksan mo, hintay mo yung tuldok luminya. Wow! Boom! Ganun. Tapos lilipat mo yung channel. Sobrang senyorita. Why? Because it's an Indian culture. Ang, ang kultura ng Bombay, ang lalaki, you don't work at home, you work outside. Pagdating mo sa bahay, pagsisilbihan ka ng babae. So pinalaki kaming gano'n ng tatay ko. Not my mom. Yung nanay ko, pinipilit kami. Magwalis ka. So one time, nagwawalis ako sa bahay, nagbubunot ako. Dumating yung tatay ko, alam niyo sabi ng tatay ko, kumuha ako apat katulong para hindi ka gawa niyan. Tigilin mo yan, ibaba mo yan. Tama na yan. Ako naman, ay tama po yun, tama. <laughs> tama yun. So, senyoritong senyorito ako, hindi ako, mar hindi ako naglalaba, hindi ako naghugas ng pinggan. My gosh, pag hinawakan niyo tong kamay ko, ang kinis dito, parang ganito. <laughs> Ay, yung maniwala. Ano? Lumaki akong senyorito. Who are parents here? Can I see the hands of parents? Parents, this might be happening at home. That you do not want to punish or correct your children. Why? Because you love them too much. Itong problem. If you do not punish them with love, you're sending them wrong signals. Example. You have an elementary son or daughter, umuwi ng bahay, galing school, sabi niya, Mommy, I am so tired from school, but I have a project that I need to submit tomorrow. Can you do the project for me? <laughs> Ikaw naman, kinuha mo sa loob-loob ni Mommy. Pag hindi ko to ginawa, babaksak siya. Pag bumaksak ang anak ko, repeater. Pag repeater, ako rin magbabayad ng tuition. O sige anak, you go and rest in your room. Tapos ikaw ang gagawa ng project. Anong project? Mga munggo. <laughs> Mga shells. Naalala niyo yun? <laughs> project natin yun eh. <laughs> Halfway, doing the project, sabi mo, silipin ko nga yung anak ko, kawawa naman. Binuksan mo yung pinto. Pag silip mo, nakita mo yung anak mo, nagko-computer, nagigames. Diba? So ikaw, anak, I thought you were resting. Sabi ng anak mo, this is how I rest. <laughs> then you go back to the project. Go on. The next day, he wakes up. Ikaw, hindi ka nagumising. Bakit? Hindi ka naman natulog. <laughs> Paglabas ng anak mo, going to school, alam mo sabi mo, anak, this is your project. You can submit this to your teacher. Alam mo sa al alam mo actually yung sinabi mo? Ang sinabi mo sa kanya, hindi yon. Your words were this. Anak, you told a lie. Nagsinungaling ka, hindi ka pagod, naglaro ka lang dahil sa ginawa mo. This is your reward. <laughs> you send them wrong signals. You tell them that if they do bad, life will reward them. My dear friends, that's not true. In life, if you do bad, if you make bad choices, life will not reward you. Life will punish you. Conflicts you shouldn't avoid. Correct them if you love them. Amen? Second is this. Conflicts you cannot avoid. What is conflicts you cannot avoid? In the Bible, David. Kilala nyo ba si King David? Si Baldabid, kilala nyo? Hindi sila magkaano-ano, ha? 
King David, before he became a king, there was another king, King Saul. And David was just his general. Ang problem ni King Saul, King Saul was jealous of David. Bakit? Lumalaki yung fans club niya. Yung, yung Facebook fans club ni King Saul, hanggang ganito lang. Si David growing. So parang, kaya lang, general niya, tapos son and law pa niya. Kaya lang, pag ito si King Saul, nalulungkot talaga. Kasi because of so many enemies. Si David, David really loved Saul. So this is what he did. He played music for King Saul. Para ma-relax naman si King Saul. Ang problem, pag tumutugtog si David ng music, ang problem dyan, kinukuha ni King Saul yung spear niya, yung sibat, tapos sinisibat niya talaga si, si David. Buti na lang, David was really very good in music. Bakit? Every time siyang tutugtog, pag sinisibat siya, umiilag siya. You, you are God. Whoa! You are Lord. Whoa! You are all I'm living for. You are King of everything. I want my life to praise you, you, you. Ganon. Grabe yung sibat eh. Conflicts you cannot avoid. So we go to another conflict. Conflicts you should avoid. And this is the whole talk. Itong talk na to. There are conflicts that we can avoid. Why? Because a single conflict, single, lit lang, will drain you, will sap your energy, will steal your joy. Na dapat yung energy, time, will be given to fulfill your dreams, ibinibigay mo na lang sa conflict. Just imagine this. Pagising mo pa lang, ha? Sarap talaga ng buhay. Grabe, ang tagal ng bakasyon. Tapos grabe, ang ganda ng feast sa PICC. Ang gwapo ng preacher doon. Uh, si Bo Sanchez. <laughs> no, yung talagang tuwang-tuwa ka. No? Tapos pasok ka sa trabaho. Eh, may kaaway ka sa trabaho. May kaaway ka. Pag bukas mo ng pinto, nakasmile ka the whole time. Pag bukas mo ng pinto, buhay siya. Dumaan ang vacation, buhay tumataba pa. Anong tawag mo sa kaaway mo? Demonyo. Pag demonyo ang tawag mo sa kaaway mo, anong tawag mo sa trabaho mo? Impierno. So araw-araw ka pumapasok sa imp- nakakainis. Tapos ito pa ang nakakalungkot. Kung ang pangalan ng kaaway mo, baby. So lahat na makita mong baby, ay, ang cute ang baby, baby, baby. Huh? Aalala mo siya. Magbe-baby ko loan ka. Baby, baby. You get what I'm saying? Single conflict. Ubus lahat ng kapangyarihan mo. Pagod na pag- saya mo sa fees. Nakakita ka ng baby. Nakakainis ka. Hindi ba? Oh, yeah. Sayang. Tingnan mga katabi mo. Sabi mo sa kanya, lugi ka. I believe we have four powerful strategies of peace, of a peacemaker. The two I'll discuss today. The two others will be discussed by Bo at Aliyu Theater next Sunday. So two strategies. Number one is to be faithful. Number two is to be forbearing. Be faithful. Tingnan nyo nga ang katabi nyo. Mukhang faithful ba? Many conflicts arise from unfaithfulness. Tandaan niya, ha? Unfaithfulness. Those who are working, do you love your work? Yes. Sino nga rito ang mahal niya ang trabaho niya? Taas po ang kamay. Thank you. My dear friends, you should not just love your work. You should also be faithful at work. Loyal to your job. Kasi pwedeng maging unfaithful. Papano, I'll give you an example. Please do not follow this example. Ha? Nasa office ka. Nakita mo sa table mo. Oh, <laughs> paper clip. Kailangan ng anak ko ito sa bahay. <laughs> Isa lang naman. Hindi mararamdaman ng company. Bond paper. Oh, kailangan niya sa project ito. 
Eh, araw-araw, ban paper. <laughs> no, ang tagal mo na sa kumpanya. Napaka-unfaithful. Again, who are married people here? Can I see the married people? Yan. Kanina, parents ngayon, married people. Do you love your spouse? Parang, what? What? <laughs> Do you love your spouse? Huh? What? what? Parang galing sa ilong, ano? You cannot just love your spouse. You also need to be faithful to your spouse. Yes? You know, before we started the feast, itong mga kung saan-saan na feast, we had a big planning. Bo called me up. Sabi niya, bro, we have a five-day planning. Sabi ko, saan yan? Sabi niya, sa Burakay. Sabi ko, wow, what a planning. <laughs> Kandang plan. Sabi, sabi niya, bro, bring your family with you. Sabi ko, nako, hindi pwede kasi kakapanganak lang ng asawa ko. Hindi, ako lang ang pupunta. Sabi niya, nako, maiinggit ka sa amin. Kasi dala namin ng aming pamilya. Sabi ko, wala akong magagawa. So, punta ako sa Burakay. Sino nakapunta na sa Burakay sa inyo? Sa Burakay pala may beach. <laughs> Meron pala, no? Kasi hindi ko nakita ng apat na araw. Ang planning namin, the whole day hanggang gabi. Pag, pagkatapos ng planning, lalabas ka, hindi mo na makita yung beach. But on the fifth day, tanghali, pinalabas kami. Tapos na, so labas kami. Grabe. Ang, ang Burakay pala may station 1, 2, and 3. Di ba? Doon ako nag-umpisa maglakad sa station 3. Sa station 3, ang si-sexy. Pagpunta ka ng papunta sa station 1, pa-sexy ng pa-sexy. Kaya nung nasa station 3 ako, nakita ko yung mga tao, naka one-piece bathing suit. Eh, faithful ako. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, ipikit nyo ang mata ko. Lakad ako. Pagdating ko sa station 2, two-piece na ang suit nila. Kaya napalakas ang dasal ko, Lord, ipikit nyo ang mata ko. Pagdating ko sa station 3, hindi na two-piece ang suot. One and a half. At ang panalangin ko, kung hindi ako faithful, nang iba siguro ang prayer ko, baka ang prayer ko, Lord, ipikit nyo na ang mata nyo. Be faithful. Why? So that conflicts, unnecessary conflicts, will disappear in your life. Amen? Number two is this. Be forbearing. What does that mean? Be forbearing means you have to learn to accept others' differences. Magkaiba kayo. Ha? Kahit mag-asawa kayo, tambal nga, parehong pinakain, parehong lumaki sa tahanan, parehong minahal, but magkaiba pa rin. Kayo pa kaya? Yung mister mo, iba ang kinain niyang rice sa'yo. Sinandoming siya, NFA ka. Kaya paglaki niyo, magkaiba kayo. There are differences and you have to accept. He is different. I'm different. They are different from me. Pag nangyari yan, gaga ang buhay niyo. Di kayo palagi nakikipag-away. Let me give you some differences of a man and a woman. Let me talk to the men. Men, we have tunnel vision. Alam niyo yung tunnel vision? Ganyan. Wala kami masyadong peripheral vision. Hindi namin masyado nakikita to. Ganyan kasi kami. Hindi kami mga kabayo. No? Na may ganyan. Pero ganyan. That is why, when, when a beautiful woman walks, kami mga lalaki, sumusunod talaga yung leeg. Kasi nga ganun kami. Di ba? Yes, we look at beautiful women. <laughs> Uh, ba? They are God's creation. It's, it... Pero kayong mga babae, nako, hindi kayo tunnel vision. You have eyes at the back. <laughs> yes! Nandun yung guapo. Doon ka nakatingin, ang guapo! You have eyes at the back. You have... One time, my wife asked me to look for the dairy cream inside the fridge. Sa ref. Ang ref namin, kasi tangkad ko, six footer din. E two doors. And dito yung freezer, nandito yung, yung ref. Sabi niya sa akin, nandiyan sa baba. So pag bukas ko pa lang ng ref, I need to bend. Pabend pa lang ako, wala dito. Alam mo, sabi niya, love nandiyan yan. So ako tinignan ko, sabi ko, wala. Sabi niya, hanapin mo, ano bang ginagawa ko dito? Nagpapalamig. 
sabi niya, gamitin mo ang mata mo, wag ang nguso. Sabi ko, hindi nakakakita ang nguso ko. <laughs> Tapos tumahimik, maya-maya yung kamay niya nandito. Kinuha niya yung dairy cream dito. Eto ah! Ay, oo nga. <laughs> Bakit? Tunnel vision. So men, listen. Men, listen to me. When your wife tells you it is there, it is there. That's the truth. It is there. Now, let me talk to the women. Women, your thoughts, your thoughts huh, in your mind, they are like spaghetti. Magkakadikit yan. Grabe. Kaya kayo, pag may, you can talk about 10 different things, topics in 5 minutes. And then you go back to the first topic immediately. <laughs> Bakit? Nagkakadikit? Yung kakambyo lang basta, alam mo ba yung unga? At sino? Unga! Di ba? Ay, napanood mo ba yung unga? Ganun talaga. Diyos, na kayo? It's not wrong. It's your design. But we men, we men, not spaghetti. Our, our thoughts are like boxes. Kahon. We open a single box and we talk about what's inside without opening the other boxes. If we want to talk about other boxes, other topics, we close this box and open another one. Ganun kami. Kaya minsan nalilito kami. Pag nagkukwentuhan kayo kung saan na kayo, kasi isang kahon pa lang yung bukas. Pasara muna, ha? Ahanapin ko pa eh. Nasaan na ba yun? Ito pala. Pag bukas ko, ibang topic na pala. Ganun, nangyayari talaga. We're different. Kaya lang, pag hindi mo alam yon, away kayo. And, women, listen. Wives, listen. We men, we have a favorite box. This box is called nothing box. What's inside? Nothing. Paborito namin yan. Kaya mapapansin nyo ang asawa nyo, ang lalaki, madalas, tingnan nyo ka, ganito. <laughs> Tapos kayo mga babae, tatanungin nyo talaga, ano iniisip mo? Wala. Wala. Nothing. <laughs> Hindi ka papayag. Bakit? Wala kang nating eh. Dikit-dikit ka. Mamimilit ka. Anong wala? Meron? Wala nga eh. We're different, but it's okay. It's okay. Pero pag alam mo yon, o nga, magkaiba kami. Ay, you will solve a lot of conflicts. Last difference. Ang dami kasi eh. Women, be honest, you talk more. Men, we talk less. Men, maximum words, ha? tayo mga lalaki, our maximum words a day is 6,000 words a day. Women, your minimum words a day is 8,000. Husbands, listen. Pag matutulog na lang kayo ni misis at nagsasalita pa siya, Pagbigyan nyo na kasi hindi pa siya kumukota. <laughs> hindi pa. Women, if your husband, wives, if your husband doesn't say anything, it doesn't mean we do not care. Huh? It simply means we reach our quota already. <laughs> Kaya kami mga lalaki, if we sit together for one hour without talking, we're fine. Kayo mga babae, hindi. Sumakay kayo ng kotse, 20 minutes, hindi kayo nag-uusap. Pagbaba nyo, galit ka ba sa akin? <laughs> Kasi pwede yun eh. We are different from one another. So my dear friends, learn to accept. Hawakan nyo nga ang kamay ng katabi nyo. Ngitian nyo nga. Sabi mo sa kanya, tinatanggap kita. Sabi mo sa kanya, tanggapin mo rin ako. Gagaang po ang buhay niyo pag natuto kayong tumanggap.
Yes? I would like to go deeper to my talk. Serious na ako ngayon. Parang di kayo niniwala. No? Can I ask you to stand up, my dear friend? Do you really have do you really want to have peace in your life? Maraming umaattend sa feast, dami nangyari sa inyong linggong ito, no? Yung iba, talagang storms in life, kaguluhan sa buhay, hirap ng buhay. Yung iba sa inyo this week, you lost someone you love. Hopeless situation happened in your life. We, we, I don't know, but God knows. And God knows you want peace in life today. But you know, real peace is not found outside. Real peace is always found within. Kaya kahit anong gulo ng sitwasyon na nangyayari sa inyo, pwede pa rin na masaya ka. Pwede pa rin na ano, may kapayapaan ka. Do you believe in that? Yes? Pwede yun. Because peace happens inside and your peace will go out will come out and will affect what is outside and we can only be peacemakers if we have peace inside ourselves how will that be it will only happen my dear friends if you have the prince of peace jesus christ in your hearts today. And this is my prayer for you, that you will have Jesus, the Prince of Peace, inside you when you go home. Pag uwi nyo, alam nyo, aaminin namin ha, pwedeng ganun pa rin yung sitwasyon nyo, pwedeng nandun pa rin yung problema mo, Buhay pa rin siya. Pero iba ka na. Ibang iba ka na. Bakit? Dala mo yung kapayapaan na galing sa Diyos na buhay. Yun yung dalin nyo pa uwi. Let, let me dwell on the big storm that happened to the apostles in Jesus. Jesus invited them, let's go to the other side. They rode the boat. Nasa bangka sila, biglang, shh, lakas ng hangin. Tapos nakita nila si Jesus, they, they thought, the, the storm was so powerful, they, they thought they were about to die. And they saw Jesus sleeping. Humihilig pa siguro yun. Kasabay nung malakas na hangin. And they woke him up. And you know what they told him? Do you not care that we are perishing? Di ba, those are our words when bad things happen to you, when bad things happen to you, sometimes you pray, Lord, do you not care? Why is this happening to me? I'm a good person. Umaattend ako sa feast at serve ako sa'yo. Bakit ba nangyayari sa akin? Do you not care? And Jesus stood up and He said to the wind, Quiet, be still. And everything was silent. Just imagine. Shhh. Wah. Lakas. Shhh. Wah. Biglang sabi niyo, Quiet, be still. Wah. Tigil ka aga. Kaya dahil sa nangyari, kasi pwede naman dahan-dahan ito. Sa nangyaring yun, the disciples said these words, Who is this? That even the wind and the storm obey him. They were amazed by Jesus. Why? Because Jesus calmed the storm. But I would like to go deeper. And I would like to be true to you. Again, pwede. Ganun pa rin yung bagyo mo sa buhay pag uwi mo, ha? Pwede. But I would like you to be different today. How? Actually, the disciples, they, they asked the wrong question because they asked it, at the end, they asked, they said, Who is this that even the wind and the storm obey him? Because it stopped. Paano kung hindi tumitigil ang bagyo sa buhay mo? 
ilang linggo ka nang uma-attend sa fees, ilang buwan ka na nandito, naglilingkod ka pa, tapos ganun pa rin ang problema mo. Hindi mo masasabi yan. Hindi mo kain sabihin sa Panginoon, who is this that even the wind and the storm obey Him? Because I'm still in the storm in life. So this is what I would like you to say to the Lord. And this is what I believe the disciples should have said. Habang bumabagyo, kas, nakita nilang si Jesus tulog. Dapat, ito magandang sabihin nila. At sabihin din natin, Who is this? Tantang, who is this? That even the wind and the storm do not wake him. Who is this? Ang lakas na ng bagyo. Tulog pa rin. Tulog pa rin. Kailan kayo natutulog? Pagpayapa na ang inyong puso at isipan. Tama? Hindi kayo makakatulog pag magulo pa rin ang isip at puso nyo. Gaganyan lang kayo sa kama. Ihiga after one hour. Lilipat ng pwesto. Natutulog. Pag after one hour, hindi ka makatulog. Bakit? Gulo ng isip. Jesus was sleeping. Let's follow Him. Look at Jesus and say those words. Who is this? That even the wind and storm do not wake Him. It will happen to you even if there is you are still in the midst of the storm. It will only happen if the Prince of Peace is in your heart today. This is my prayer for you. Allow Jesus to dwell in your hearts right now. God is here. I can sense Him. He is passing by. He is walking by. And He will be touching you. His touch will heal you. His touch will give true peace in your life. Peace that the world will never understand. I would like you to receive that touch from your God. He is passing by right now. Can you do this, my dear friends, as if you are embracing yourself? Parang niyayakap niyo sarili niyo. And then I would like you to close your eyes with faith and confidence that God is passing by right now and He is embracing you. Open your heart. God is here. God loves you so much. He is passing by. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive God's peace today. I take this time, this opportunity, Lord, to just be in your presence, to feel your overwhelming presence right now, Lord, embracing me. Thank you, Lord, for this unconditional love that amidst the trials, amidst the storms, Lord, I have faith that you will walk with me and I will quiet my fears. I will silence my doubts and know that you are God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Give the Lord another big round of applause. Hallelujah. If you have novena to God's love, lift them up. If you have your prayers, petitions, lift them up. Let's surrender them all to the Lord. If you don't have anything with you, novena or prayer, just lift your hands to God as a sign that you would like to surrender to Him all your dreams, all your wishes, your desires. And with faith, pray this after me. Father in heaven, I surrender them all to you. I believe you are moving creation right now. 
to answer my prayers. And so I receive all of them, all your graces, all your blessings. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory and honor to your name, O God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God, Jesus passed by. He didn't just touch you. He embraced you. And that embrace is not just for you. To complete that embrace, you need to give that embrace to people you love who are near you. As you embrace one another, give each other God's peace. Go, go and embrace. Hallelujah.